So I'm standing here at New Plymouth Airport as I'm about to embark on another big journey all the way to Finland of all places. I think I got something like 40 hours of flying including one 18 hour flight. But it's not too bad. I managed to get a pretty sweet deal with our business class so it, it should be a bit more enjoyable. I'm actually going for an event called Slush and uh, as someone told me it's a combination or uh, a blend of uh, the TEDx conference and Burning Man. I don't quite understand how that happens given that it's in the middle of uh, winter or snow and ice and all that stuff. But um, it sounds fun and it is all about tech, startups, cryptocurrencies, which is a bit of a side passion of mine. Um, a little bit of health in there like gadgets, wearables, apps, software, etc. Uh, two days of jam-packed speaking, talks, um, networking, dinners, partying, all that sort of jazz. And since I'm going to the depth of, of winter in Finland and I'm going to be on a plane in the air for two days straight, I am currently getting as much sun as possible. Alright, so I'm sitting here in uh, Auckland Airport in the Qantas, uh, Qantas Business Class Lounge. Because, as I said earlier, I am uh, flying in style. We have business class flight, so it's going to be good fun, especially given that, that this flight is um, 18 hours. It's the world's longest flight. Pretty much where I'm going, it's the complete opposite time of the day. So, like, it's what, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon here in New Zealand time, and it's 2 o'clock in the morning Helsinki time. So, jet lag is going to be an issue. Uh, I've got the human charger here, and um, I'll be using the app and following that recommendation, taking all my hacks and biohacks and supplements and blue blockers and all that uh, to help with the jet lag as well. I've done a lot of traveling before and so I'm pretty used to the jet lag and, and how to handle it. I've even got a few blogs on that so you can check that out on my site. But anyway, just had a boarding call so um, i got to wrap up and, and head off. So I'm here in Doha, just landed after 18 hours of flying. World's longest flight, done, dusted. All right, good to be here now. Got a little bit of sleep, got about five hours, six hours sleep, plus a little nap. So, beautiful airport though, like seriously, if you ever get an opportunity to stop in this airport, there's a layer of it, do it, and try and spend a few hours here. There's even like a house bar, uh, fitness center, so um, I'll hit that up on the way back. like my pajamas. So uh, heading into Helsinki, got about two hours left to go on the flight. I have hardly had any sleep. I didn't even have accommodation yet in, in Helsinki, so landing at 7 o'clock in the morning, so I figured I got a few hours to uh, book something again and um, yeah, it's gonna be gonna be an adventure. I gotta get changed out these uh PJs. be here and it's cold it's really cold and that's snow slash ice slash slush and um yeah it's 10 o'clock in the morning and i just had a big coffee didn't get that much sleep on the plane but uh whatever coffee and stuff will help um yeah it's actually really cold i think i'm gonna put some gloves on i bought some gloves in Auckland. check these out they're like uh, merino wool and possum wool how cool are they they've even got the fern look at this 50% merino lambs wool, 40% possum fur, and 10% silk. How cool is that? So much better. And representing the fur. 
I should have done that ages ago. And it was cool, actually a lot of people on the business class flight I was in, in the, in the cabin, they were going to slush as well. So there was a guy from Oman, 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 uh, Pakistan, Hong Kong, England. Yeah, and they're all going to slush. It's already started, so uh, I'm really pumped, really, really pumped. But I think I'm going to go back inside because I'm also really, really cold. So it's 3.30 in the afternoon here in Helsinki and I've just been doing a few hours of work, catching up on work. Uh, and check this out. Yes, it's quite pretty, but uh, it's also very, very dark. <laughs> Sun went down at, I don't know, three o'clock or something. It was, it was quite surprising. I was sitting by the window watching it thinking, really? Feels like it's about nine o'clock at night here. And uh, yeah, so far so good. The people I bumped into were all very nice and caught up with a few people from LA and, and surprisingly feeling good, despite it being four o'clock in the morning, New Zealand time. So I'm gonna push through so this evening, see how I feel, and uh, hopefully I'll adapt to uh, the local time. I've, I've been using the uh, human charger, following the app recommendations and doing all that sort of fun stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing the city more over the next few days. So I just had din dinner, 7.30 here in Helsinki, and uh, there's a lot of side events for slush, the two-day slush event. So one of them is a uh, cryptocurrency uh, meetup tonight, cocktails, all that fun stuff. Um, and given that Bitcoin hit an all-time high of $11,000 today, like literally a few hours ago, and uh, that I've been in the crypto space for a few years now, I thought, you know what, could be a good time to go out and meet some people and have a bit of fun. Like, like something out of a movie. Amazing. Alright, well that was fun. Lots of, <laughs> lots of champagne flying around, floating around. Lots of nibbles, food, and lots of people. It was, it was packed in there, it was crazy. But I am cooked. I was sitting there <laughs> at the table and um, I thought there was an earthquake and then it happened again. I'm looking around, I was like, why is no one moving? I realize it's me and I'm ruined, it's so tired. So I'm calling it, calling it a night. Morning world, so it is, uh, I don't even know what day it is, Thursday. And um, so pretty good last night, seven hours, woke at five o'clock in the morning. Uh, Alex, my name's Alex. I'll get to that soon. And um, yeah, woke at five o'clock in the morning, wide awake, and I was like, I, I could have done with more sleep, but you know what? Um, seven hours isn't too bad for the first night. It is very cold, it's like three degrees right now. And uh, the, one of the side events for the slush weekend was to jump in the sea yesterday. I was tagged in a post by one of my members um, on the Hormone Reset program. His name was Frankie. Put a really nice uh, message up saying how you know he's lost 27 pounds and completely changed his life and you know feeling better than ever and health and all that sort of stuff. But he was also up to the part of my protocol where I do recommend pushing the body and doing some things that are slightly uncomfortable. Right, so I tell clients you know to be to become comfortable with being uncomfortable. And there was a photo of him in, in the lake. Uh, it looked pretty cold, and I'm sure it was cold. So, and then I saw this event when I was waiting on the plane, at the, looking at the itinerary and the agenda, and I was like, you know what? As crazy as that sounds, I kind of, uh, I should do that. I should really do that. It's not too bad because then over in the distance there, we have some hot pools. Let's go. Let's move. Let's move. Oh my God. All right, let's do it. Let's think about it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. I love how we like didn't stay in there long for all. It just become yeah. like a, a bunch of screaming people. <laughs> Alright, my tip. <laughs> You're gonna hate me, I kinda missed the middle. The camera kinda turned off at a second. I don't know how much how much we got there. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the post, the post mortem. It's cold. It's cold. What was that, like 20 seconds? <laughs> Frankie, that one's for you. <laughs> yeah, it's like, that's, that's 
painful, you know? And it's painful. But honestly though, right now, like, I feel fine yeah, after jumping yeah, after yeah. that. It feels great, my feet are cold, that's about it, but. All right, that was, that was cold. That was different to any water I've been in New Zealand. I couldn't talk when I got in. Just like, oh, time now. You know when you feel really cold water and it's painful, and you don't know whether it's really cold or really hot, like that burning sensation? That's what happened. Hands are numb. But yeah, here we go. Now look at this one. Gonna go jump in there. I think I deserved it, alright? Alright, I ended up doing a couple of those back and forth. It actually got harder the, uh, the second time around. But that was an experience. How do you find it? Great, <laughs> but cold. <Yeah. laughs> we're, we're gonna go hit the, the sauna now to uh, thaw out and then uh, head to the event. So I'm all thawed out now and uh, feeling good. Actually feeling quite sleepy, always seems to happen after the cold and the, the saunas. Which is why I love doing them in the evenings. I uh, always seem to get really good sleep. So coming up to 10 o'clock now, I'm actually running a bit late. So I'm gonna duck back to the hotel, dump my stuff, pick up a few things and then head into slush. So I'm here, slush and uh, about to go inside and I'm already, already 10 minutes late for my first interview so um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna run. So I needed a, a bit of work and I was looking around for a workstation and I found this neat little uh, private pod by Framery. So um, it's like this half a meter by half a meter little soundproof room with charges and a little desk and a stool which is awesome it's such a cool conference like wow it's so different to the typical conferences where it's all just white and boring and plain it's been a crazy day because the new aura ring just got announced this is it old one new one new aura ring you can pre-order it now um I don't mean this to be a sales piece or anything, but if you're interested in that ring, check out my blog, and I, no doubt by the time this goes out, I'll have some great videos and stuff, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick these guys' brain. Brains uh, about this new ring, because it's very, very cool. But yeah, that's me from Slush. I am so tired. It's 5.30 in the afternoon. I'm sure my body thinks it's like three o'clock in the morning. All right, guys. So this channel is Authentic Alex. This is pretty authentic, Alex. I'm working out with the bleeding. With a bleeding nose and not much sleep. Jet lag's bloody brutal. Usually I cope quite well, but this trip's um, really nailed me. It's the last day of slush and I've got a lot to do today. Um, so I'm just gonna run with it. And um, I, I brought my qualia. So I'm gonna smash this. I know you're not really meant to take it. You know, when you're sleep deprived and stuff, it's more of a when things are good and tops you up type thing. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hit that because I need anything I can today. Uh, and then what else we got? We got the, we got the human charger. I found it's actually, it is helping. It's helping like the stimulus side of things. I think I've got a few other supplements lying around so I'm gonna hit all in and uh, I'll go downstairs and get a really big coffee into me. I brought some creatine and amino acids. Uh, creatine apparently um, helps with sleep deprivation. I think there's one study on it, and I need to mainline that stuff today. Let's let's see how we go today. So I'm running around, about to hit our uh, a little bit of energy now. Anyway, open the curtains and check this out. It's snowing. So cool. I've seen proper snow on a mountain, but I've never had snow coming down on me. So pumped. I had to run outside. This is so cool. I'm like running around here outside in the snow. And everyone's looking at me like I'm a nutcase. It's actually really cold. But it's so cool. And this other guy just came out and he was taking photos as well. And I looked at him and I said, first time seeing snow? He said, yeah. Pretty special moment. All right guys, so it's uh, Friday night here in Helsinki. Slush is over and I just had one of the best experiences I've had in a very, very long time. Something that I'm, I'm not gonna forget. Um, yeah, probably the rest of my life, to be honest. It was, it was magical. It was, it was great, and I feel amazing. And uh, that's the result of uh, this guy. Hey, what's Tamil. up, guys? <laughs> Tamil from 
uh, author, co-author of the Biohackers Handbook and uh, founder of the Biohackers Summit here in Finland. We did the f traditional Finnish sauna experience. Uh, many of you might have heard about the sauna. If you ever heard about an infrared sauna, that's not a sauna, it's an infrared heating room. According to International so uh, Sauna Federation, you can only use the word sauna for the traditional dry sauna, uh, which is used in Finland. And the one that we had here is something called the smoke sauna. And this facility where we are is where the research into this, uh, the health benefits of sauna really started. We did the, the, the traditional real experience. And how, how was that? I mean, uh, how did was, you feel about it? Yeah, I mean, it was... I, I feel so good right now. Like. This morning I was a wreck, jet lagged and everything, and right now yeah. I'm like, this is better than any cup of coffee. Yeah, I can totally coffee. testify. He's he's not he's like a new man right now. So we also uh, dunk into the the Baltic Sea. Okay. Uh, you can almost like see see to Estonia. No, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, but it's it's like we are like 15 minutes away from downtown Helsinki, but this area looks like. You're in the middle of nowhere. It's really. beautiful. Uh, Honestly, it's it's beautiful, magical. So, if anyone of you is interested in any of this stuff, check out biohackingbook.com. That's where we are. Yeah, this guy's like the most intelligent biohacker I, I know. That probably exists. I kid you not. This whole trip's been a massive experience for me, but this is probably the cherry on the top. So, look at the snow. Look at the snow in the background. How cool is that? All right, guys. See you later.